Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Leanna, I'm having a day. I've been trying to get this video out and my voice is getting hoarser and hoarser. And, ah, but anyway, today I wanna to talk to you about your sales numbers aren't the only number that's important. They don't tell the whole story and they don't really indicate whether or not your business is successful. I bring this up because it is a pet peeve of mine when people post their sales and give you no context. I, if you want to post your sales because you're proud of yourself and you've reached a milestone or whatever, I think that's fantastic. I really do. I congratulate you. I applaud that. I, I want to you know, support other people's successes. But when you post your sales consistently and there's no context, it's all about look at me, look at me. I just want everyone to be aware that it's not the whole story. And just because somebody has huge sales numbers doesn't mean they have huge profit. So what goes into your business besides your sales numbers? Cost of goods. You know, I'm very fortunate. I live in an area where my cost of goods can be quite low. We purposely moved to this area for that reason though. So, you know, I don't, I don't think anyone needs to do that, but we are fortunate because our cost of goods can be low. I can go into a thrift store. I can buy an item like a blouse for $5 for sure. I've also done the homework where I have the experience that I know what's going to sell, but that's a whole other thing. My cost of goods. So I walk into a thrift store, buy a blouse for $5. Fantastic. Basically and simply, that's your cost of goods. However, there's more to it than that because I always take into consideration, <coughs> pardon me, what it costs me to get that shirt from the thrift store to list it on whatever platform I want it listed on. So I have to take into consideration my time, maybe that's important, the gas on my car, the wear and tear on my car, um, any products I use to prep that item, washer, dryer, laundry soap, stain remover, leather cleaner, um, my steamer, uh, the apps I use once I photograph, my camera, my lights, my space, whatever it is. And yeah, any apps I use in order to get that item listed, like photo room, because that's what I do. <coughs> I'm sorry about the voice today. Ugh. All right, so once the item is listed, all of that is my cost of goods. Now, the middle stuff that I talked about, that's sort of minimal because that is spread out over many, many items, not just one item. I don't wash just one item. So it is spread out, so it becomes very minimal. So my $5 item might actually cost me $6. And I always keep that in mind so that I know my profit is realistic because it's very important to have realistic profit. Excuse me. Um, also, when you're listing, cost of goods would be if you pay any fees to list, like on eBay, some people still do, so keep that in mind. <coughs> so my item is listed. Anything after it's listed, so if it sells, any fees that I have incurred, any promoted listings, you know, anything, if it's sold with promoted listings, that fee is also there. Um, shipping supplies, how I box it up or put it in a poly mailer. Um, any shipping discounts that I might have given, I apologize, any shipping discounts I might have given, any any shipping that comes out of my own pocket, that's part of doing business, sharing services, cross-listing services, storage, boxes for storage or totes, anything like that, <coughs> that's cost of doing business, any employees, things like that. Um, if you are in the United States and you can get free boxes from USPS, take advantage of it. Oh my goodness, you are so, so lucky. Here in Canada, we do not have that advantage at all. Canada Post gives us very little, just so you know. So, this is going to be a quick video. You have your sales numbers, okay? They're up here. You're doing good. You're feeling great. But you also have all your costs, your cost of goods, your cost of doing business. Sales are here, costs are down here. Anything in between is your profit. It is your gross profit. <coughs> now for me, I want these numbers to be really far apart. You know, I want, I want my sales to be up here. I want my cost to be way down here. It doesn't always work that way. But 
Whatever's in the middle is your gross profit. Now, for us, we do take some of that and we spend it reinvesting in items to list. So that certain percentage goes back into the business to relist or to buy items to list. What is left is my net profit. Net profit is what indicates whether or not your business is successful. That is the bottom line. You've heard the, the term bottom line. The bottom line is what is determining whether you are making money or just treading water. And you know what? I think it fluctuates. I've had months where I'm just treading water. Now that means I'm paying myself, so I'm still earning an income, paying my bills, getting things done, but I'm investing more into the business. So I'm not really making a ton of profit, treading water a little bit, but other months I'm doing much better and I'm, I have some in savings or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, your profit, your net profit is the bottom line. That is the most important indication. And you know what? I don't expect people to share that information. I really don't. I know that I've talked about this before. I don't share my overall numbers with you. And that was a personal decision I made when I started YouTube, when I started on social media, that I wouldn't do that. I do share individual sales and I do try and talk about what it cost me. And I'm assuming that you would like, if I sold something on Poshmark, you, you know that, you know, okay, I sell something on Poshmark for $20. And I tell you, I spent $5 on that item. And you know, the fees are 20%. So that's 16. So I made $11 in profit, give or take after before and after taxes. So my voice, oh my God. Um, but I don't share the information with you. Just It's just a personal choice. The same as if somebody does share the information with you, if they share their sales, you know, that's their personal choice. And really and truly, that's fine. I don't, you know, I get annoyed sometimes. I just scroll by. It doesn't matter. My opinion about that doesn't matter. Anyway, always remember <coughs> that Leanna is not feeling good, but always remember that just seeing sales numbers, it's not the whole story. That's it, it's just not the whole story. Be aware of that. I'm sorry about this video, guys. I am just, I am, I don't know. We moved around our, our home office. As you can see, I have different things back here today. And I think it kicked up a lot of dust and I should have done the video first and then did that. But we're thinking about getting standing desks. So we kind of mimicked the situation with um, two by four tables. If you have a standing desk, let me know down below so I can, and you can tell me your experience, whether they're worth it. But anyway, all this stuff, oh, every time I've been practicing for like an hour or two, I keep pointing over here. And I mean here, all these are books listed on eBay. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that is it for today. Um, I have to go. I, I have to go and breathe or do something. Hope everybody has a good day and I will see you on Friday.